Hello everybody. Today is the anniversary of the birth in 1930 of Shirley Williams, one of our more respected politicians who died in April this year. A member of the Labour Party for most of her life, but then part of the group that broke away to form the SDLP when Labour became very left-wing and uh, later um, that party became the Liberal Democrats. But one of the interesting things about Shirley Williams' career is that though she was very successful by all accounts. She was uh, a member of the cab cabinet for five years and brought in the comprehensive system of education. She was a member of the shadow cabinet for 15 years and yet she seemed to lack confidence. She did not have the nerve to go for the top post when uh, the position of leader of the SDOP became up for election. She turned it down, although many say she would have won pretty easily because she said she wasn't suitable for the top post. And, and partly she said this was because of um, the cultural background, in spite of a father who encouraged her to be gutsy by making her or inviting her to, to climb up the bookshelves in his office right to the very ceiling, and in spite of her mother, Vera Britton, who was a very um, well-known writer, she didn't feel she had the, 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 the right as a woman um, to um, take up these positions. It wasn't appropriate. It was something deep within her that uh, stopped her doing it. I think that's very sad. But there was also something in her personality that made her just lack the, the, the willingness to, to take that move to make that um, uh, uh, decision to seize the moment, uh, to have the confidence to, to, to take the opportunity which would uh, allow her to move on, move to the, the next level of achievement. And so today I'm just reminded um, that um, for myself, uh, if an opportunity arises uh, uh, that I feel I don't want to respond to because I don't feel up to it, to check that that's actually true and that I'm not just putting myself down. Um, to make sure that if opportunities come my way, I seize the moment and don't dither and quail as, as, she, as she did. And also to remember that it, it, sometimes it, it's still hard for women to realise that they are just as deserving as men of the top jobs.